hello students and welcome to series of concept through questions on engineering mechanics so hope you have seen the first video in which i have explained you what do you mean by mechanics how we can define the force term how we can define rigid body okay then we have seen how to find the rectangular components so before that we have also seen what do you mean by a resultant force what do you mean by the component of force so hope you have watched that video and hope you have understood it so let us quickly revise what things we have seen in the last video so suppose there is a system of forces given to you in which let's say there are four forces we have seen how to specify the force what are the four parameters you should consider now you can find the resultant force r <coughs> using the formula square root of rx square plus ry square where this rx is what it's the summation of all the horizontal forces or summation of all x component of system of forces these are the forces in your system and ry is nothing but summation of all vertical forces of the system so this is how you are going to find out the magnitude now to find out the direction what we are going to use theta it is going to be equal to tan inverse of r y upon r x so this is going to give you what direction right so these are all different things we have discussed hope you have understood it now let us discuss one more example in this video and let us see a new concept in this video now read the question a collar that can slide on a vertical rod is subjected to three forces as shown in the figure okay now you can see here see this is the vertical rod okay this is what a vertical rod is there and on this vertical rod there is a collar right and there are three system of force one is 90 kN acting vertically downward sorry upward 70 N and 130 N okay this is what 90 N right so these are the three forces as shown in the figure now you have to determine a the value of angle alpha for which the resultant of three forces is horizontal okay and second is you have to find out the corresponding magnitude of resultant now let me draw the system of forces on x y axis this is the x y axis okay this is the origin now what are the different forces you can see so first is vertical force that is the 90 newton this is the force of 90 newton now there is second force of 70 newton let me draw it so obviously it is like this right this is of 70 newton now one more force is there that is 130 newton this is a force of 130 Newton. Now, if you see the angles, this angle it is how much? Alpha. 
and this vertical angle it is also alpha okay in the last video we have seen how to find the rectangular component of force let us proceed with that so 90 newton it's a vertical force there will be no x component of this right now 70 newton it is in first quadrant so how you are supposed to draw its component it is going to be like this right and 130 newton it is in fourth quadrant how the component will be like this is the x component and this is going to be a y component okay so let me quickly now if this angle is alpha this is going to be alpha so this angle is going to be this component it will be cos this will be sine this angle is going to be alpha so this component cos this component sine always you have to remember the component which is adjacent to angle that will be cos and another component will be sine okay now so if someone asks you what is the horizontal component of 70 newton it will be 70 cos alpha what will be the vertical component of 130 newton 130 cos of alpha of course it will be negative okay now come to the question what you have to find out the value of the angle alpha for which the resultant of three force the resultant of the three force is horizontal the resultant of three force is what horizontal that means this is the resultant the resultant of three forces is horizontal that means ry that is the y component or vertical component of resultant force is zero okay now we know that ry is nothing but submission of fy what is submission of fy sum of all the vertical forces is going to be zero therefore first force is 90 vertical component is 90 what will be direction positive then next what is the vertical component of 70 newton it will be 70 sine alpha alpha we don't know that we have to find out what will be the direction sine will be positive vertical component of 130 it will be 130 cos alpha direction will be minus this is going to be zero now from this you have to find out the value of alpha okay see here this is a little bit tricky that's why i have taken this question here see what you can do is from this can i write 90 plus 70 sin alpha is equal to 130 cos of alpha okay i am going to tell you this step you have to find out the alpha see what you can do after this do the squaring on both side okay once you are doing the squaring what you are going to get see this is what a plus b square a square plus 2ab plus b square which is equal to 130 cos alpha square right so 130 square 13 square is 169 into cos square alpha now this cos square alpha instead of this can i write cos square alpha as 1 minus sin square alpha right so from this you will get you will get a quadratic equation you will get a quadratic equation in terms of in terms of sin alpha 
What is the quadratic equation? A x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. So instead of x, you will get a something like this: a sine square alpha plus b into sine alpha plus some constant which is equal to zero. This equation you have to solve for sine alpha using calculator. You can solve the quadratic equation using calculator. If you don't know, you can search on the YouTube and please learn that because plenty of times in engineering mechanics you may come across to solve the quadratic equation if you know it it's well and good so you are going to get one quadratic equation in terms of sin alpha and from this you have to find out alpha and please check you should get 24.14 degree this is going to be your answer okay so you have to try it in case if you couldn't please write in the comment section and please do join in the telegram channel i will give you the solution there okay but you have to try it first okay i have tell you i have told you the steps simply you have to follow it get a quadratic equation in terms of sin alpha and solve that using calculator you will get sin alpha is equal to something and then alpha will be sin inverse of this Okay, so alpha will be 24.14. So this is the answer of first that we have found the value of alpha for which the resultant of three forces is horizontal. Now what is the second question? Okay, so this is for first. Now the corresponding magnitude of resultant. That means you have to find out R. You have to find out this R. R is nothing but Rx. R is nothing but Rx. Okay, so you have to find out r which is nothing but rx and rx is nothing but summation of all the horizontal component of forces so first is 90 newton is there any horizontal component no for 70 newton there is a horizontal component 70 cos alpha which is equal to 70 cos alpha what will be sign check the sign it is going to be positive right now, what is the horizontal component? This is a horizontal component of 70 Newton. This is the horizontal component of 130. 130 sin alpha plus 130 sin alpha. Please check why plus sign is there. See the direction. Always check the direction. It is going towards the plus x axis. Okay. So, which is equal to 70 cos. We know what is alpha 24.14 plus. 130 into sin 24.14. So let me calculate this. So 70 into cos 24.14. How much it is? 63.87. 63.87 plus 130 into sine 24.1. How much it is? 53.16. 53.16 plus 63.87. 117. 117.03. What will be unit? Unit. Right? So this is the answer. This is the magnitude of the resultant magnitude of the resultant and this is the angle alpha so these are your answers okay so this is little bit a tricky part but please try to solve it okay obviously you are going to enjoy if you are serious about this subject if you are serious about this series so hope you have understood this example also so if you found this video series useful, please do like and share maximum. Join us in the Telegram channel so that you will get the notification when I am uploading the next video. And still, if you have any suggestion, you can write in the comment box. So thank you for watching this video and please do like and subscribe the YouTube channel. Thank you.